Hi. Welcome back to the show. This is your show for Disney tips, tricks, and how to live your best Disney life. Here we are again. Once again. Another Friday night. Hanging out on Friday night. And our favorite night of the week. Been looking forward to this. Because we just love to talk about everything Eskimos. Disney. Ooh, I was oh, way off. That's awkward. Um, yeah, so we got a great show for you tonight. We're really excited about this one. So we are doing... How to Happy Hour Around Disney Springs. Yes. So we're going to take you from 1130, which is the first happy hour of the night of the day, and we can get you all the way through to about 11 o'clock. So that's what we're doing tonight. And tonight, I'm, um, I'm recycling a quiz that I didn't use during the reverse song quiz that we did. Okay. So this is going to be an under the sea quiz tonight. Oh. So Disney thing. themed under the sea things. I didn't even know. Look what I'm wearing. Oh yeah, it worked out. You're wearing your Little Mermaid I love aerial that ears. Happens. These are my favorite ears, and eels. I'm wearing my shirt. Eels. I said eels. Aerial ears. Did you say that or did mm-hmm. I say it? Mm-hmm. I'm also wearing my Little Mermaid shirt. Wow. I didn't even know. It's always That's a so crazy. That's crazy. We're in sync, babe. I guess so. Um. So. And you have a prize. I do have a prize. Yay. It's another homemade prize. <gasps> Those are the best prizes. I think that they are the best prizes. DIY. I'm very excited. Um, so, what do you think? Oh, what are we drinking? Oh, we're drinking uh, low-carb Moscow mules tonight. They are so yummy. Uh, it's a little bit of vodka. Okay, it's a lot of okay, vodka. a lot of vodka. <laughs> with um, diet ginger ale because ginger beer, you can't do it. Yeah. And some lime us. juice. Love it. It's so good. Mmm. Mm. It's very tasty. And I love the, I just like how the Moscow mule cups look. The mugs? The mugs. They are kind of cool, huh? They're like the... Copper. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I like yes. it. Good for fall. Sweet. Um, so let's get started hey, with our happy hour. What's my favorite thing to do? Go to Disney. What's my second favorite thing to do? Happy hour and around drink. Disney Springs. <laughs> when you combine Disney and drinking, it's our it's everything we want. Yeah, in life. it's a recipe for a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. But we're going to help you do it on the cheap. <laughs> yes. So a lot of stuff at Disney Springs can tend to be very expensive. Yes. Um, most of these places on the list we've been to. Some places we haven't been to yet, but we'll talk about them anyhow because they have happy hours. Why are you saying been? Been to. We've been, be, been to. Been to. Well, the way they have been spelled, it should be been. I know. <laughs> Some of the places on this list we've been to. Yes. Some of these places we haven't been to. But we'll mm-hmm. talk about them anyway and okay. tell you what's uh, what's good and what hours they are. Yeah. Now, you did a little research on this yourself, did you? I did. I did. So I have like some of the places you go to, I might have a, some prices for the drinks and what you should get. Yeah, so. I have a few too. So good. let's get started and we'll jump right into it. Okay. It's 1130 a.m. You're walking into Disney Springs. You're thirsty, but you don't want a coffee and water just won't do it. Head yeah. over to the House of Blues. <gasps> yeah, that's what I had first too. Yep. You yeah. go in. You go ahead to the House of Blues, yeah. and at 11.30 in the morning, uh, every single day, you can get beer and well drinks that are yes. pretty cheap. Yes. Um, do you have prices? No. Do you have prices? I have. Well, I said, you know, I I was thinking I just have one drink for each place. Okay. But you can get a Bud Light for three seventy five. dollars Wow. Or Coors Light, you know, those like cheap beers oh, for Oh, you can get the worst drinks. Well, three seventy five. you can't go wrong at Disney Springs. And just grab that and you can go walk around. Okay, fine. Perfect. Yeah, sure. You can get yeah. you can get cheap beer. Yeah, House of Blues. Great mm-hmm. stuff. Um, so and and they actually go from eleven thirty to five o'clock every single day. Um, so how about the next place you can go to, which typically they're about two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, you can head over to Paddlefish. Oh, yeah, Paddle I've never Fish been has there. A, a happy hour. Um, Sunday through Thursday they have a happy hour at the bar from okay. two to four. Cool. And on the rooftop deck, they also have it 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. Oh, very nice. And they also have live music. Um, beers are $5, and you can get a bottle of rosé for 20 Ooh, not bad. That's not bad at yeah. Disney Springs, right? Ooh, rosé. For- um, somewhere else you can go, which we haven't been to yet, but I really want to go to, mm-hmm. is Haleo. Oh, yeah. Haleo has a happy hour from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. with special prices on beer, wine, sangria, and some mixed drinks. Yum. As well as tapas. Did they have prices? They didn't. They just said special prices. Okay. All right. Well, special means cheaper. And so. since we haven't been there, I'm not really sure. Yeah. Tapas. I love tapas. Um, another place that you can go to at 3 o'clock, which is one of our favorite places, is Jock Lindsay's. <gasps> oh, the hangar bar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that place. 
place is pretty cool. So, 3 o'clock to 6.30, Monday through Friday, you can get appetizers, beer, wine, and cocktails at a discount for happy hour. Yeah. And one of our favorites that I think was part of it is the Old Elephant Foot IPAs. Yes. They definitely, I think they switch it out, but they do do $25 pitchers as part of the special. Oh, do they? And you can get a pitcher of IPAs. They had um, they had the Hefeweizen pitchers. Huh. Um, also... One thing that looked interesting to me was the screwdriver for seven dollars with Sky Vodka. Oh, because it's the hanger bar. Because the hanger bar and the Jack yeah. Lindsay. So that looked good to me. That's kind of clever. Um, you know where else? Oh, you know where else has it at three o'clock? Where? Raglan Road's Hole in the oh, Wall. Oh, I love that place. Raglan Road. This past trip became one of our favorite little places to sit. It's quiet. It's tucked away. The bar is really cool. It has comfy seats. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can get $2 off well drinks. Yes. And some of the beer. Domestic. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. And we got some, uh, got some like gin and tonics. Yeah. Were we drinking? I think we yeah. had vodka and soda and cranberries. Oh, oh I, had, I think I had rum and coke, actually. Maybe you did. I had yeah. vodka, soda, and cranberry. And they were good. And they were fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And very cheap. Yeah. And it's cool to sit there. And you can people watch. And yeah. the bartenders are really friendly. So Yeah. It's a great little place. Um. Another one, three o'clock that we've been to before, been to before, <laughs> is Morimoto's. Oh, really? Morimoto's has a happy hour oh, from three to six thirty. We spent uh, a fortune three to 5:30. there. I <laughs> Morimoto's is very pricey. We must not have hit the happy hour when we went. <laughs> no, uh, but it's three to five thirty in the lounge, and they don't give prices, but special prices Ooh. on appetizers and cocktails. Ooh, interesting. I'd love to check them out again. I like Morimoto's. It was a really fun place it to go was. into, it but was. it was very expensive. Expensive. And the food, we just got like rice and chicken and it was very, yeah, it was very good, but. I wouldn't say, uh, whatever. Yeah. It was good. It was good. This isn't a rate the food show. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's not three o'clock anymore. It's heading towards four. You're ready to move on. Do you know where you would go next? Um, you got two choices. Two choices? Two choices. That's all that's left? Well, for four o'clock. Oh, for four o'clock? Um, Stargazers. Yeah. Yeah. Stargazers has become one of our most favorite places to sit and chill at Disney Springs. Four they to seven? Four to seven o'clock. Yeah. They have seating that looks outside so you can watch the people going by. You get a cool little view. And they also have some live music going sometimes. Um, mm-hmm. And all of the craft beers, or most of the craft beers that they have $5. are $5. Yeah. yeah. And it's right underneath Planet Hollywood. It's Planet Hollywood's mm-hmm. like lounge. It's, yeah, it's Planet Hollywood or Stargazers. Yeah, it's a really cool little place. Yeah, it's right around back. It's tucked away and I never noticed it until I saw their um, happy hour sign one day. And I said, mm. this is great. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of the best deals for craft beer. Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah, for sure. Um, the other place that you can go to at 4 o'clock is Frontera Cucina. <gasps> Ooh, Which yes. we really enjoyed one night. Yeah, that was fun. I think we got nachos or something there. It Did we get nachos? So good. We got nachos. We had um, margaritas. Yeah, yeah. It was so good. And the best thing is you took we took the margaritas to go and you, walked around The coolest them. thing about all of these places is you can ask for a to-go cup and they'll give you a drink to go. Don't forget that around. because... Makes it a little bit more fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, so Frontera Cochina. What do they have? Has four to seven, Monday through Thursday, $5 beers and half half price oh. apps. Oh, very cool. Right? What Why kind not? of beers do you probably they don't, have? They that. didn't lift. Probably no, like Budweiser. It's, it's yeah, it's probably Budweiser yeah. or Modelo yeah. or something like that. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of cool. Um, so it's getting later at night. It's yes. approaching nine o'clock. Where would you go? Nine o'clock? Um, uh, maybe then I'd go to Paradiso 37. Talk to me about Paradiso 37, because that was not my favorite place. If you want to get a $5 margarita from 11 to 5, they have them. Mm. And then as the night gets later, they have $7 margaritas from um, 5 to 2 a.m. They're open till 2. So these margaritas, they're they're fresh pre-mixed. made. No, oh. pre-mixed. But these margaritas, I mean, they're good, right? They're kind of sour. <laughs> oh, but these margaritas, I mean, they're worth the money? They also have $5 beers and $5 wines or sangrias. And then same thing, it's it's called like the 555 and the 777. Okay. So $5, $5, $5, $5 777. So though we did go there once or twice. Yes. I don't know that I'm going back to Paradiso 37. Hmm. I... I I think if we were there late and we were looking for a happy hour, this could be a good stop. It might, maybe, but pre-mixed margaritas are not my thing. No, yeah. But if, you, if they're your thing, that's the place to go, man. Yep. Yeah. But two thumbs down for me. 
<laughs> um, you know where else you could go? Where? Is to the rooftop deck at Paddlefish, as we mentioned oh, earlier. Oh, back there. Um, huh? They also, at Terralina, they, from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock, have $5 beers and half-priced wines. Oh, very nice. So very if you're a nice. wine, wine connoisseur, you might want to head over and And they're kind of like an Italian type place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have to try there. We should try there. We, we should, should try all of these places. We should. I'm sure that's basically the list that I had. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's more places, but these oh, are yeah. these Definitely. are our favorite places to go. So out of the entire list, what what would you do? Um, definitely go to the hole in the wall. Definitely the hole in Jock the wall. Jock Lindsay's. Jock Lindsay's. Love the them. Must. And Stargazers. And Stargazers. Top three. Would you start at House of Blues? I would start at House of Blues. We actually, are, are, was it our adult trip or yes. was it our family trip that we went at 1130 to House of Blues? I think it was our family trip. Because mm. mm. the adult trip, we went later in the day. That's right. Yes. All right. And what's your favorite out of all of them? I think I think I'm narrowing mine down to, well, Stargazers is in there too, but Jock Lindsay's, Raglan Road. Yeah. Stargazers, those are like those three. the coolest places. Yeah, definitely. I, I might be Jock Lindsay's because of the theming. Yes. Um, yeah, it might view, have to be. The view of the water. The view of the nice. water. Um, yeah. We were actually at Jock Lindsay's one night and we got to see a drunk magic show. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was obnoxious. <laughs> that was obnoxious. Whew. And very loud. And very loud. So sometimes people can get a little bit rowdy. <laughs> I guess so. But you just keep your distance. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Hmm. Now I know how to happy hour. Thanks, yeah. Chris. Maybe we revisit this one day when we go back and yeah. I really try want all to the try paddlefish. Places. I've heard, you know, from people that it's really good. Yeah. So, so if you're interested in happy houring, happy houring. Ooh. ooh. Verb. <gasps> Verbing. If you're interested in happy houring around Disney Springs, yeah. there's your list. There it is. Before we move on to the quiz. Yes. If you guys haven't yet, take a minute. Subscribe to either the podcast or the YouTube channel, depending on where you're listening yeah. or watching. Mm. Hit the like button. Leave a comment because that helps us and gets us motivated to keep doing this stuff. Definitely. Do you like it? Do you not we like it? We love hearing from you guys. And let us know. what Any other happy hour tips that you have? Uh, are you ready for the quiz? I'm so ready Madam? for the quiz. I love the quiz. All right. So this is going to be the entire quiz is themed to Under the Sea. <gasps> oh, my gosh. That's so fun. Isn't it cool? Yeah. I, yeah. I, um... I thought this was fun. I just I still can't get over the fact that I'm wearing my little I know, mermaid. it's funny. <laughs> um, okay, so question number one is a finish the lyric. Okay. Down here, all the fish is happy. Down here, all the fish is happy. Oh, God. You are literally I wearing know. all apparel themed around this movie. Fish is happy. Something, something, they roll. I'm not going to accept that. Crap. No. Then here all the fish is happy. It's sad because they're in their bowl. No. Here all the fish is happy. All under the waves they roll. I'm not going to give it to you. What is it? As off through the waves they oh, roll. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> but no matter what happens tonight, you get the prize because I want to okay. give it to you. I'm really excited for this prize. That was close though. Yeah, you did great. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> in the song... Under the sea that Sebastian sings. Yes. How many fish does he mention? What? How many fish does he mention? You know the part where he goes, the newt play the flute, the carp play the harp? Are you serious? Yeah. How many fish? The newt play the coop, the carp play the harp. Not one of those words you just said is right. Seven. Twelve. Oh, wow. The newt plays the flute, the carp play the harp, the place play the bass, and they sounding sharp. Okay, that's three. The bass play the brass, the chub play the tub, the fluke is the duke of soul. Yeah. The ray he can play, the lings on oh, the okay. strings, the trout rocking out, the black fish he sings, the smelt and the sprat, they know where it's at, and oh, that... Blowfish blow! So that's thir 13. Oh, is it 13? Yeah. I counted bad. The smelt and the pelt? Oh, the smelt and the sprat. That's two. You that's are right. All right, so we were both wrong. That's okay. That's all right. You can still get it. All right. <laughs> 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 what is the name of Prince Eric's butler? Oh, Hornsby. That's not. No, it. no, sorry. <laughs> That's not it. Your old beanpole. Oh, Prince Eric. Wow, what is wrong with me? I definitely know who it is. Um, it's not Hornsby, but it's something like that, right? I don't know. Kind of sounds like Hornsby. I should have written the answer down. Can you give me the first know. letter? Uh, no. Please, just the first letter. Then G. 
Grims Grimsby. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Um, how long does Ursula make Ariel a human? Three days. Okay, we're, we're getting Count back there. Three. Not two? No, three? Three. Okay. <laughs> what is Ursula's human name? Vanessa. Ooh, all right, we're on a roll now. There we go. I just need some confidence back. What Pixar character is seen on the floor of the dentist's office in the waiting room in Finding Nemo? Um, Woody? Buzz? Which one? Woody. Buzz. Oh! <laughs> of course. How about, how old is Crush? Crush? Mm -hmm. 240 years old. That's wrong. Wow, you're <laughs> not doing great. He's 150. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. How about, well, you're probably not going to get this one either. What type of fish is Dory? Dory is a... I, I will take her color. She's blue. She's a blue something. She's a blue tang. Hey, give me a second. No, that's right. You got it right. Oh, you thanks. said blue and I'll take color. <laughs> okay. Name, so this might be really hard. <laughs> Name the two whales in Finding Dory. Um. Okay, I know this. Desiree? Ooh, no. Oh. Destiny, sorry. Destiny. All right, wrong. It sounds like a stripper. Destiny. <laughs> All right, so destiny and oh, give me the first letter. Oh, jeez, H. Destiny and Harold. I don't know. Hank. Hank. What? A, same thing. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> what type of whales? Wow, poor what grammar. Type whales. What type of whales were they? Oh. <laughs> Just name one. Humpback. Name a different one. Um, killer. Name a different one. <laughs> Beluga. Yeah! Oh, yeah! All right, you got it right. Good job. All right, so you got six correct. Oh, which do we get a bonus? Kind of stinks, but there is a bonus. Okay. Name five Disney attractions. Yes. That take you under the sea. Oh, okay. All right, so un well, under the sea with Ariel. Okay. Um, the seas with Nemo. Okay. Um, turtle crush, crush talks with tur with turtle crush. <laughs> turtle talk with crush. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Words. Um, that's three, right? It's three. Um, you said attractions, right? So it could be. I, it could be anything. I don't care. All right. What about Voyage of the Little Mermaid? Like Perfect. Studios? Love it. And one more. Yep. Um. Ooh. Two thousand years later. I don't know. Finding Nemo the musical. Oh, of course. Oh, boo. You know why you didn't remember that one? Because I hate it. Because you hate it so <laughs> I much. don't hate it, though. You do hate it. No, and I, don't. I love the musical. I don't hate it. I just. So, this prize that I'm going still to give the you. Prize? Despite the fact, yes, because okay. I want to give it to you. Okay. Um, this prize, I've been holding on to these things. For several months now. Yes. It, to, trying to find a way to give them to you that would be meaningful, and I thought this might be the best way. Aw, so, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, no, I think it might be cool. Okay, I can't wait to see it. I like the Mickey bag. The Mickey bag's neat. All right, what do we got here? It's something very simple. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. This is really neat. Right, so you it goes this way. Okay, so you framed our after hours... So these are our after hours uh, bands, pass, yeah. the, pa the passes that you get to go into the after hours party. At Magic Kingdom. And this is the um, the, pamphlet. the, the plant pamphlet, the flyer for the after hours party. This was from our adult trip in March. Oh, fun. That was basically like our honeymoon because we never really went on one. And we've yeah. never really been away in the seven years, that we eight years we've been married. This is so awesome. So I thought I would frame it and give it to you as a, m a memory. It. Right? Yes. Kind of cool. And you put the Mickey ears up here in the pants down here. That's really I cute. I did. I cut that all out from construction paper. It is absolutely precious. I love it. Cool. Thank you so much. What a great idea. I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. Where are we going to hang this? I don't know. Well, probably up on our Disney wall. Probably a Disney wall. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. That was really fun. I don't want it to end. I don't either, but cool can prize. We, can we do after hours of our show? What would we do for that? Um... 
drink some more and talk about Disney some more. <laughs> well, there's always next week, Amanda. There is always next week. So I guess that's I guess it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Don't forget to bring home the Disney stuff. And the milk. And the milk. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day.